Welcome to Idiot's Diary. This is a C programming tutorial series. Today we will discuss about the new chapter in C called operators. Look at the expression y is equals to x plus 5. In this expression x, y and 5 are called the operands or arguments and plus or equal are the operators. According to the number of operands or arguments, the operators are classified into three categories. First is called unary operator, which work only with a one operand. Example, minus 5 requires only one operand to work, so minus here is called the unary operator. Next type of operator is called binary operator, which requires two operands to work. For example, in the expression 5 plus 4 plus need to work two operands so plus is called a binary operator and next type of operator are called ternary operator which require three operands we will discuss about the ternary operator in few minutes according to the operations operators are again grouped into eight categories the categories are as follows first is arithmetic operator second is assignment operator third is unary operator, fourth is relational operator, fifth is logical operator, sixth is bitwise operator, seventh is conditional operator and eighth is comma operator. We will discuss about these operators one by one. Here are the arithmetic operators. Plus, minus, multiply, divide and modulus are some arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators are used to form the arithmetic expression. As you solve the arithmetic expression, you need to follow some rules in C. The rules are as given below. As in the mathematics, there are the bond mass rule is used while you solve the expression. But in C, there are more than 50 operators. So, the bond mass is not work here. So, we create a new rule. is called the rule of precedence. In C, each operator enjoys the priority. The operator which enjoy the higher priority are evaluated first and the operator which enjoy the lower priority are evaluated later. According to this rule, the priority table is formed. The priority table for the arithmetic operators are given on the screen. Here, the priority of multiply, divide and modulus is higher than the priority of plus and minus. As well as the priority rule, the association rule is also used while you solve the expression. The association rule says that some operators are executed from left to right, whereas some operators are executed from right to left. We will discuss about the association rule in some next examples. Here are the some examples based on the precedence and association rule. Look at the expression. In this expression, multiply enjoy the higher priority than the plus. So, multiply is executed first and plus is executed later. In the next expression, as you can see that there are more than one operator of same priorities are encountered. So, which one should be executed first? This is decided by the priority as well as the association rule. At first, multiply and divide. Enjoy the higher priority, so these operators are executed first and plus minus enjoy the lower priority, so these are executed later. But in multiply divide, which one should be executed first? This is decided by the rule of association. As we discussed earlier, that all the arithmetic operators follows the left to right association. So, solve the multiply divide in the order left to right and when multiply divide are solved then solve the plus minus in the order left to right some other rules for the expression solution are discussed here for example int int calculation returns the output integer float float calculation returns the output will be integer float int float calculation returns the output float and float int calculation returns the output float as you look at carefully, then you can see that the output will always from the larger data type. If you are unable to understand this, don't worry. We will discuss some example 
so look at the example discussed here in this example we will perform 5 divided by 2 according to the mathematics the output should be 2.5 but in C the output will be 2 because here 5 is an integeral number 2 is also an integeral number so the output will be integeral and floating point part will be eliminated in the next example 5.0 divided by 2 the output would be 2.5 because here 5.0 is a float type value so the output will be float in the next example 5 divided by 2.0 the output would be 2.5 because 2.0 here is a float type value and in the next example 5.0 divided by 2.0 the output would be 2.5 because both of the values are of float data type. Here some more arithmetic expression examples are discussed. In the first example we want to print the result of i that is an integer type variable. Look at the expression that is appeared on the screen. In this expression, we want to store the result of expression 5 divided by 2 into i. The result of 5 divided by 2 is 2 because 5 is an integer, 2 is an integer and integer integer calculation generates the integer and i stores 2 that gets printed. In the next expression 5.0 divided by 2, the result of this expression will be 2.5 but i is unable to hold floating point value. So, it automatically converts this float expression into the integeral type that is 2. In the next expression 2 divided by 5 evaluates to 0 because 2 is an integer, 5 is an integer so i stores 0 that is an integer. In the next example 2.0 divided by 5 the output of this expression is 0 0.4 but i cannot store 0 0.4 so automatically convert into the integer that is 0. In the next example 2.0 divided by 5 the output of this expression is 0 0.4 but I cannot store this so automatically converted into 0. Next we will discuss some example with a float data type. Here we want to print a variable j that is a type of a float with different type of expression given here. For example in the first expression we want to store the result of 5 divided by 2 into f here 5 is an integer 2 is an integer so output will be integer that is 2 and when this 2 is stored into the f the 2 is automatically promoted to the floating type and becomes 2.0 so f stores 2.0 in the next expression we want to store the result of 5.0 divided by 2 into f here the 5.0 is a float type so the result of this expression is 2.5 and f is able to hold this result so it stores 2.5 by default float shows the sig position so when we display the result of f the result is displayed with a six digit precision in the next expression we want to store the result of 2 divided by 5 into f and the result will be 0, 0.0 because 2 and 5 both are the integral type value in the next example the result of 2.0 divided by 5.0 is stored into f that is 0.4 because 2.0 and 5.0 both are the floating type values. Now the next arithmetic operator is mod operator. Here the percent sign represents the mod operator and mod operator returns the remainder. For example, we want to calculate the result of 5 mod by 2 that is 1. To understand this, we take an example. Suppose you have a 5 rupee and want to distribute the coin of 2 rupees. Then you can distribute it to persons and you have 1 rupee remaining. So the result will be 1. In the next example, we want to calculate the result of 2 mod by 5 that is 2. Again to understand this, suppose you have a 2 rupee and want to distribute the coin of 5 rupees then you cannot give it to anyone and you have remaining 2 rupees so the result will be 2 in the next example we want to calculate the result of minus 5 mod by 2 that is minus 1 
here the sign of the result will be same as the numerator in the next expression we want to calculate the result of 5 mod by minus 2 that is 1 in the next expression we want to calculate the result of minus 5 mod by minus 2 that is minus 1 in the next example we want to perform the mod with a floating point value that is a compile time error because mod cannot be performed with floating point values and last to perform the mod with the floating point values you need to use the fmod function defined in bad.h file here the result of fmod with 5.3 and 2 will be 1.3 to understand more about the mod operator let's work with an example here the example is that you have given a total number of seconds and you have to find the number of hours minutes and seconds in the total number of given seconds so we have already created a skeleton of c program now start the program by creating a variable total second of type long next we receive the input for the total second by sending a message to the user that is please enter the total number of seconds and by using the scanf function we receive the input from the user here we use the percent ld format specifier because the variable ts is of type long integer now we know that in a one hour there is a 3600 seconds so to find out the hours in the seconds we need to find out the total pairs of 3600 in the total second to find the pair of 3600 in the total second we perform the division by 3600 of total seconds and store the result in a variable h so we calculate the hour and store the result in h to calculate the remaining second we perform the mod operation by 3600 and again store the result in ts and the remaining seconds will get stored in variable ts as we know that there is a 60 seconds in a minute so to find out the minutes in a total seconds we perform the division by 60 of total seconds and result is stored into the variable m and find out the remaining seconds we perform the mod operation by 60 and the result is gets stored into the variable s that is naturally called the second now here we use the variable h m s and s so we declare the variable on the top of the program integer h m s and finally to view the output we print the result on the output screen by using the printf function so r says percent d slash n is used to change the line on the output screen minutes equal to percent d and slash n and seconds equal to percent d then here the first percent d is stored in h then m then s so we print this variable next we save the program and now try to compile and run here the message is displayed please enter the total number of seconds now we enter the total number of seconds is 72348 seconds and the hours possible in this total seconds are 20 minutes are 5 and seconds are 48 let's continue with the assignment operator assignment operator is used to move the value into a variable or the value of a variable into the another variable or the result of an expression into the variable here the examples are shown and the assignment operator works from right to left here the example is given a equal to p equal to 5 as you can guess that the 5 is moved to the b first and the value of the b is moved to the a 
so assignment works from right to left in the next example 5 equal to a the error is occurred and the error name is l value required because a constant cannot be changed here the 5 is a constant and the value of a is moved to the 5 so this error will be occurred in the next example 5 plus b equal to a the same error is occurred so on the left hand side of the assignment operator there should be a variable and a single variable is allowed in c assignment operator can be combined with other operators and known as a compound assignment some of them are shown here for example if you want to write a is equals to a plus 5 then in the shorthand you can write it a plus equal to 5 in the similar way if you want to write a equal to a minus 5 then you can write it a minus equal to 5 if you want to write a equal to a multiplied by 5 then you can write it to a multiplied equal to 5 if you want to write a equal to a divided by 5 you can write it a divided equal to 5 and if you want to write a equal to a mod by 5 you can write it a mod by 5 these are also known as short and assignment thank you for watching this video keep watching keep learning